and welcome to another video. I hope you guys had a lovely Christmas and are now ready to take some time for yourself and kind of re-energize from all the social activities and maybe paint along with me today. I have given myself quite a challenge for this video because I have been wanting to get more into loose painting with watercolors. I tend to be very precise and get all the details down and I did release a video in which you could see one side of a face being painted more loosely and one being more rendered. Now I've been trying to go to loose painting altogether and not take so much time uh, just for one painting and trying to get it all perfect. And it hasn't really been working out that well. So I figured what better time than today to just try and challenge myself by giving myself one hour max to finish one watercolor painting. So that is what we will be doing today. But a funny thing is that when I think of loose watercolor paintings, I just really can't see myself doing a portrait of a, a person in that style just yet because I always tend to go back to my old ways and render the face and the eyes really exactly. So I figured maybe I should try a subject that isn't as familiar to me to work in a style with so maybe the loose painting can kind of come through more and be the focus instead of the subject that I'm painting. So with that said, what would be that subject? And luck would have it because yesterday as we were driving home from our Christmas dinner, we saw a badger cross the road and they are very rare to spot because they tend to be kind of skittish and they are night animals so you don't see them quite as often as other animals in the forest. So I had never seen one in real life just out and about so I was just in awe basically. So when today I wanted to do this challenge, of course, what came to mind? Then none other than the badger. So I will be painting a badger today and I will also try to paint it in less than one hour in a more loose style. So keep those fingers crossed for me because this is not going to be easy for me, but I hope that when this video ends that we will have something that looks like a badger and isn't too perfectly rendered. I will sometimes mention some of the materials I'm using or the process that I'm going through while painting, but sometimes I will throw in some badger facts there for you guys because it's a pretty awesome animal and I think it deserves the attention and the spotlight a little more than just having a painting painted. The paints I will be using are Core Watercolors, the introductory set of 24. If you want to see me pour that out, you can see it in the video linked up above. I will be using my Rembrandt 100% watercolor paper 300 GSM and I will be using my Rembrandt paints by Talents that are up above. You can't really see them well. Because I want to paint more loosely, I chose a couple of brushes that are quite heavy and thick, which is this Raphael uh, size 8 soft aqua which is a fake squirrel and this um, professional watercolor sable point rounded by um, Windsor and Newton in a size 12. So let's just get that timer on screen and let's get started. Now, as you can see, the timer just times the seconds in the video and not actually the time I was using in real life. I tried to figure out how to get that uh, sped up because this footage is sped up uh, seven times. But it turned out to be such a headache that we'll just do the math at the end of the video and I will translate these seconds in the video to... Um, the seconds actually used and we will see if I make it in less than an hour. 
Now I wanted to save a lot of time on the background because a background is uh, easily done in a more loose style so I just threw some colors down and made sure to incorporate core watercolors with my Rembrandt watercolors because the core watercolors will actually push the Rembrandt colors away giving uh, you a nice vibrant uh, looking painting in, and background instead of just getting muddy and kind of layering on top of each other. So the purple I used was the Rembrandt and the other two colors, the purple and the yellow, were the core watercolors. You could also see me uh, dry the painting in between. Um, I use a small type of heat gun for that and um, I really like it because it gives me without I don't have a lot of patience, guys, so it's really handy to just have there and speed up the drying process so you can start layering another layer. And because time was of the essence, I did use that a lot during this painting. Now on to the badger facts. When I say badger, I will be referring to the European badger in this video because I am from Europe and it wasn't running around with a flag of a country on its back but I was pretty sure it should be a European badger since it's in Europe, right? So let's just assume that that is correct and I will be giving you European badger facts. Now the European badger is a powerfully built black, white, brown, and gray animal with a small head and a stocky body. It has small black eyes and a short tail. The weight of course varies from somewhere in between 7 to 13 kilograms or 15 to 29 pounds in spring and building up to 15 or 17 uh, kilograms or 33 to 37 pounds in autumn before the winter sleep period. It is a nocturnal and social animal and it's a burrowing animal too. It sleeps during the day in one of several sets in its territorial range. These burrows have multiple chambers and entrances and are extensive systems of underground passages of about 35 to 81 meters or 115 to 266 feet in length. They house several badger families that use these sets for decades. Badgers are quite fussy over the cleanliness of their bear, uh, oh, excuse me, <laughs> burrow, and uh, they carrying in fresh bedding and removing soiled material. So they actually clean their burrows. <laughs> Very cute. And they defecate in latrines strategically situated outside their sets or en route to other sets. So these are really clean animals. I found that so fun to read. I had no idea. Um, all of these facts are brought to you straight from Wikipedia, by the way. So <laughs> I didn't um, ask a biologist about them. So, you know know the power of your sources. Uh, I can't be 100% sure, but this is the closest that I'm going to get to actual biological information on the European badger. Now with the painting, I laid down the um, grayish uh, color. That's Rembrandt color, by the way. And I am going back for a second layer, just deepening it slightly to kind of give some resemblance of shadows. Again, trying not to render a lot and the hairs are just kind of pulled out streaks uh, representing the fur, whereas normally I would go in and try to render every hair. So doing quite well at this stage of the painting. But of course the nose does need details too. It to actually look like a real nose, right? So I allowed myself that uh, little bit of rendering in this painting. Back to the badger facts. Badgers play a part in European folklore and are featured in modern literature. In Irish mythology, badgers are portrayed as shapeshifters and kingsmen to Taj, the king of Tara and foster father of Cormac Magart. In one story, Taj berates his adopted son for having killed and prepared some badgers for dinner. 
In German folklore, the badger is portrayed as a cautious, peace-loving Philistine who loves more than anything his home, family, and comfort, though he can become aggressive if surprised. Now, on screen, you can see me rendering and rendering the eyes. Um, I got done quite quickly with uh, laying out the paint uh, of the badger and the background, you know, just the, the black stripes and a little bit of shadow. So that left me some extra time to really focus on the eyes because it would be together with the nose, you know, a l just a small portion of the painting that was actually going to be rendered and would be the focus. So I did give myself some leeway there and gave me, you know, little bit more time to work on those eyes to get them just right so that the rest of the loose painting would be kind of tied in together and there would actually be a focal point there. Badger facts number three. Although the badger is classified as a carnivore, the European badger feeds on a wide variety of plant and animal foods, feeding on earthworms, large insects, small mammals, carrion, cereals, and tubers. They can have litters of up to five cubs, and they usually produce those cubs in the spring. Now here I am going in with some white gouache and because I haven't mentioned actually using white gouache during this painting, I will mention it right here. I use the uh, Windsor and Newton gouache. I also have a channel on them on my channel if you are interested. I try them out um, with a very basic style, reminiscent of Casey Golden style. I'm pretty sure you all know her if you're into art YouTube because she's huge and she's so fun. I can highly recommend her channel. So if you don't know her, head over there and uh, check it out because she's really good. Uh, but she uses gouache a lot and she had this fun little painting and I wanted to recreate it and in the process also tested out the Windsor and Newton gouache. So if you're interested in those paints, just head over to that video. Um, but that is what I'm using and um, I really like the gouache because if you water it down a little bit more it goes really well over the color of watercolors you already have laid down and it even kind of peeks through so you can kind of tint the gouache not having just straight up white on there so it's, it's really nice and if you build it up it gets really opaque and super white so that was a really nice way to render in some of this beautiful badger face. Now over here I kind of messed up. I used my black Posca pen for the first time to try and put some whiskers on the badger but they turned out to be super super dark and uh, very visible whereas the badger itself I kind of put a gray color instead of just straight black. So um, yeah that didn't go well. I wet it uh, I wet the acrylic uh, paint from the Posca and kind of tried to rub it away and went back in with some watercolor to um, make the extra whiskers there. So uh, it was it was savable. So pretty happy. I didn't, well, I mean, I haven't been spending super long on this painting, but I was kind of growing attached. So happy I could uh, save that whisker from ruining my painting. Now back to badger facts. Did you know that badgers, European badgers, can reach top speeds of 30 kilometers per hour or 18.6 miles per hour? I mean, it's pretty quick. I saw him uh, running over the street yesterday. I don't know if he was hitting these kinds of speed, um, but you know, he has quite tiny and short legs, so pretty impressed. That's pretty quick. Now I am getting to that final stage in this painting where I am really trying to render out the little 
details like hairs on the badger and try and deepen the uh, shade under its chin and here I did think it was missing a little bit of another shoulder so went back in to redo that and kind of blend the gouache in with my watercolors. Okay, I just went in to try and um, add some background effects to the sides and we are about done drying it up and let's see if I made it guys. Does the painting look like a badger? I would say yes. Is the painting looser than my normal style? Also yes. Did I manage in one hour? Sadly, no. If we calculate it, it is about 78 minutes in real time. So that means I did not meet my own goal of within the hour. Now, I have to say that it was very helpful to set this challenge for myself because I did a lot better at loose painting this time. So I'll just give it another go next time and be very happy with the results for this time. I can recommend this challenge if you're looking for a way to get better at loose painting and let me know your results, how it works for you. If you guys like this video, let me know by leaving it a like or giving it a comment down below or maybe even subscribing to my channel for more content like this. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!